I finally created a small office space in the apartment. Before, I was always working on the dining table, editing videos, scripting and filming. Everything was done here, but the dining chair is not optimal for long working periods and the laptop screen alone for editing does its job but sometimes it would have been nice to have a bigger screen. Therefore I dedicated a small space in our bedroom as an office. Cause the space in the bedroom was limited and I also didn't want to have a huge desk and everything standing in the bedroom. The options were limited. Let's talk about the desk itself. This is one of the cheapest options from IKEA. The desktop is the Linemann in the size of 100 cm times 60 cm. The width of 100 cm is perfect and leaves enough space next to my screen to place my laptop or additional things in the future. The depth of 60 cm gives me a good distance from the monitor but doesn't set me away too far from it so there's space for a dedicated keyboard, mouse and mousepad. The desk is placed in the corner and doesn't get a lot of sunlight. This is why I went with the color white stained oak. This brightens up the workspace. The legs are also from Ikea and I called edifs in white. The desk including the legs all together come at a price around 50 bucks. So this is a very cheap option. The office chair. Now I wish I could have bought the Herman Miller office chair, but for now this is out of the budget range. So since I was already at IKEA, I checked out every single chair and it led me to this one. There were of course better options even at IKEA, but they all came at a higher price. For now I wanted something budget friendly and I got the Renberect office chair. This comes at a price around 70 bucks. It's comfy and lightweight. The armrests are on the perfect height and leaves my arms rested for longer working periods. Now do I recommend this chair? Honestly I don't really know because I faced one big downside for me. It's this mesh on the back. It kinda gets hot during longer working periods which is very weird. Normally mesh should be very airy and should leave your back breathing fresh air. But I guess because of the way this mesh is constructed it kinda isn't airy and just more for looks than anything else. So you might find a better option than this chair somewhere else. Floor protection. We are living in a rent apartment and therefore I wanted to protect our wooden floor from the office chair moving around and I bought a simple chair mat from IKEA. Now this one is the size of 120 cm times 100 cm. First I wanted to go with the smaller option but I'm glad I didn't because with this size the floor can be fully covered no matter if the chair is out and I'm working or the chair is set below the desk and stored away. I'm glad I got this since the chair without this floor mat is not really rolling on the wooden floor instead it is actually scratching it. Let's get into the tech stuff starting off with the keyboard. I always loved the Apple keyboards so there was just no other option for me. I got the magic keyboard but without the touch ID since this was an additional $50 that just didn't seem worth it to me. It charges via lightning, yes USB-C would have been better but honestly this battery lasts forever. The keys are very low profile and offer the perfect distance for me. I just feel like I'm able to type the fastest without as many mistakes. I actually started using a website called monkeytype.com to improve my typing speed. If we move over to the mouse you can see that I'm actually using a Logitech MX Master 3. Now this was a hard decision since I really fell in love with the touchpad on the MacBook Air and all its gestures. So for now I'm back to using a mouse and so far I like the experience. It has enough additional buttons for me to navigate quickly in Safari and Final Cut Pro. It's comfortable and the grey aesthetics fit well into the keyboard and the bright setup. Now just 3 days after I ordered this mouse actually the MX Master 3 S came out which offers a newer sensor and silent click as well as a very nice off-white color. Damn I wish I would have waited but now anyway I'm pretty happy with my choice for now. Below my keyboard and mouse there is a big mouse pad from Logitech called Desk Mat Studio and it comes in this very nice grey color. 
Now I wanted a small mouse pad that covers both mouse and keyboard and leaves a bit room for putting my phone upside down. Yes, upside down to minimize distractions. And yes, I know there are focus modes in iOS, but honestly, this is just a easier option. The size of 70 centimeters by 30 centimeters gives the desk enough room to breathe and have additional space next to it. It feels high quality and the price is just $20. Let's talk about the elephant, I mean the screen in the room, just kidding. Yes, this thing fills my desk, but wow, this monitor is insane. Now this is the Huawei Mate View Monitor and it comes with a 4K panel and 25 inches. It's unique with its aspect ratio of 3 to 2. It gives you so much room. I even go as far as calling it the perfect productivity screen. I'm not saying the colors are perfect and everything. Honestly, I just do not know that much about these detailed specs, but the aspect ratio alone is worth it. I can comfortably open Notion on the left, writing my script and do my research in Safari on the right. It connects via USB-C to my MacBook Air and even charges it. It even comes with a built-in speaker. Now this speaker is not that great but good enough for relaxing background music while working on this YouTube video. It has additional ports on the side, free USB and a headphone jack. Some people complain that these ports are on the side and are not hidden on the back, but I actually like it. It gives you very easy and fast access to it. I might do an additional review about this monitor since I really love it. I was thinking about which lamp should I actually get for the setup and I realized that a monitor lamp is going to be the best option. It saves space and lights the desk perfectly. Here I also went with a very budget friendly option, the Xiaomi light bar. This monitor lamp only cost 40 bucks and even comes with a remote controller with which you can control the light output in power and temperature. Even more expensive light bars are not offering this feature. The remote control has this soft touch rubber feeling and is built very nice. Not only the remote is built well, the light bar itself is made in aluminium and therefore very robust. So far I'm very happy with this since it provides the perfect lighting even for working in the evening. Lastly the hidden gem in this setup is my MacBook Air. This is the new MacBook Air with the M1 chip and it's bonkers. This laptop cost me around 900 bucks and allows me to do everything I need to. I can easily work in Photoshop or edit in Final Cut Pro. Everything works so seamlessly and it honestly is a steel deal. I'm just so happy with this notebook. I might do an additional review since I think this is the best laptop ever made. This was it. This is my minimal desk setup. Let me know in the comments what do you think about it and what you would actually change. So far I'm overall happy with it but the desk chair definitely could be better. This was it. Thank you for watching and I catch you in the next one.